Midbot is very easy to use software. First, open your Chrome browser. In the URL bar, type codemom.com. On this site, go to products, then go to Midbot and click on it. From this page, scroll down and click on Add to Chrome Now. On the extension page, click Add to Chrome, then click Add Extension. Let's log into Midjourney. For Midbot to run, you must have access to the Midjourney Alpha program. After you log into Midjourney, go to Midbot. Let's find out about each section. Upload text files is where you add the TXT file with prompts you have already prepared with a text document. Mode is where you select Midjourney prompting mode, fast, relax, or turbo. Delays and runtime are important to avoid account bans and temporary blocks from Midjourney. We need to emulate more human-like behaviors and waiting times. Our recommendation is to add a minimum of a max delay of 60 seconds, a stop time of 6 hours, and a waiting time of 4 hours or more. Prefix is where you add the text that you need to include before every prompt that runs through the automation bot. Suffix is where you add the text that you need to include after every prompt that runs through the automation bot. The start and stop buttons are self-explanatory. Click Start to start and Stop to stop. Let's look at a quick demo. The automation bot will automatically download images and a CSV file that are important later. Now let's find out about the convert CSV function. Using this function, you can automatically generate tags, titles, and descriptions to match your generated images and get an output as a CSV so you can upload your AI image to stock photo sites easily. Click on the convert CSV button. In the new window, first add your OpenAI API key to function this script. Now click the Upload CSV button and add the CSV file that was generated from Midbot. Hit Enter to start generating keywords and tags. Before downloading CSVs, make sure you add appropriate settings to each site. Then hit Download CSV. Now you have CSVs and images to upload.